Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and this is Cheesy FM and today I'll be showing you how to make a logo. Uh, this could be used for, you know, uh, like the Creator Club for FM. So I'm going to make your logo similar to this one. Uh, you're going to need a program, one specific, it's actually GIMP. I'll put the download in the description. Uh, and then you're going to want to make a, first you want to make a desktop folder and you're going to have to put it, uh, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to put logo. So yeah, go on the internet and just search up basically, yeah, the socket logo blank, a blank socket logo, that's all you really need. So what you want to do is click on images and click anybody, any, any, any logo you really want. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, look, there's the one that I used down here. Yeah, that's the one that I used for the Falcon one I showed you. And, but we'll be using this one today. So just save, you can save the image as and put it, put it in the folder you know just for organization's sake so yeah just close that down for a bit and there you go now open it up in gimp mine's already set to open up in gimp so there it is you have the logo right here next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn back the images and search out something you want in the logo i want a boat simple boat i want it to be simple so i just have a clip art of a boat you can do whatever you want you can really put in anything you like it doesn't matter up to you so let's look for a cool looking boat. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, there's a, there's a steamboat. Let's have this cool steamboat. Okay. Uh, so save it as again, and save it in the folder. There you have it there. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to open, open as layers. So go to file. Yeah, file, open as layers, and you're going to open the boat. There's a boat. Now, as you can see, the boat's kind of big, so you're going to want to scale down the layer. So you scale layer and you scale it down to whatever, whatever you want. I'm going to scale it down to around there. Yeah. Scale it down there. Yeah. Okay. There. So scale. Okay. There. Now it's kind of small. I could fit in better. Uh, so if you want, you want to move it, go to move. There you have, there you have the, uh, the, the side of the bag, that side of the bag. Now, next what you're going to want to do is you're going to add, want to add a text for the top, right? Because you want to name your, your, your team. So you just drag and then drag it over there. And you have, just how you're in Boat City FC. Now, I know you can't see it right now, but I'm just going to highlight it and Add it up, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, and there. That is exactly the type of, uh, the, the size you're gonna wanna want, that you're gonna want. So, go back to export as, and really name it whatever you want, right? It's, it's, it doesn't matter, like this one's not the bad, it's not complete yet. So yeah, just name it that. Save. Right, so now you exported it. Now you have the image all right up. You close this. Okay, you won't be needing this. So this code changes. It doesn't matter because you already exported it. And there you have it. You have it here on your 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 folder. And then uh, open this. And what you want to do now is you're actually going to want to make it transparent. Okay, because if it's tra not transparent, then it's going to look all ugly in the game. So what you're going to go as image, and then or layer, and then transparency. And then add an alpha channel. With that, you can now go to selection tools and click on the fuzzy select. Which is over oh, here. There it is. No, there it is. So fuzzy select. And just click on it and delete. There. See? Gone. Now once that, you are going to want to export it. So, just a logo. Uh. There you go. So there you have the, the logo. And then discard changes, and this one should be it. Ooh, uh, let's open it. Okay, that looks weird. Okay, I'm opening it. Okay, yeah, no, no. Sorry, yeah, sorry about that. I kind of forgot the next step. So let's just quickly um, 
quickly make it transparent once again because oh, I forgot to save it as a PNG file. Yeah, you have to have a PNG in order for it to work. If it's JPEG, then it won't really come out as transparent, right? So let's export that again. And let's actually go down here where you can find all the types of image files you can switch to. And export it as a PNG. There it is. PNG. And now save. Yep. Uh huh. And there you go. There you have it. PNG. Hold on. Ah, did I mess up again? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's click this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No, oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry. Last time, last time. I know it was Good thing we didn't close this, though. Let's export as again. And let's just take away the J JPG and then put PNG. Yeah, simple as that. And just save it. And export it. And that should be it. Yeah, there it is. There. There's your PNG. Now you can close it, discard it. You actually have a perfect PNG right here. There it is. That's what you want. So that's the logo side of things. That's pretty much it for the logo. Um, now you're done with that. Now you actually want to make it so it could play properly in the game. So what you're going to do is you're going to open it again. Open it again. And then you're going to want to you want to make the size different because it can't be that big. You're going to have to make it 180 by 180. Okay? So have these settings. Have these settings in your GIMP. Or GIMP. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's GIMP. But just have these settings 180 by 180. Scale it. Okay? If I zoom in here, you can see that the quality isn't as good as it was. But there's ways you can enhance that. There's other videos to teach you to enhance that. I, I can show you right now really quick like this i won't be enhancing it too much but i'm just going to show you the, the tool here's sharp sharpness you can adjust the sharpness like uh yeah like it gets super weird the more you go so let's uh just scale that down a bit it, uh, to the point where it won't even change that much to be honest but still like yeah that's just how you do that so now what you're going to want to do is you want to go file and then just Export, export it as has it, uh, has it, how it was. So that you export it how it was, now you have it there and it's safe. Now it's the perfect, perfect size. If you open it, boom, there you go. There's the size that you want. Okay, so that finishes up the thing here at the logo side of things. So there you have it. Now, okay, now here on the game, you want to do is you want to go to new game, and create a game, then football manager create a club. Okay? So just click OK. OK, now with this, just really select anything you want. I don't know. Uh, just choose Sig Signature. Yeah. OK, so next. Uh, next, this is unimportant. This is all up to you. This is just a game. I'm just going to show you how to put it on. in. So yeah, this is loading. Once it's finished loading, I'll cut. OK, here it is. Um, uh, just pick any team, right, to create your club. And here you have, here's the option, okay? So you can here choose. And remember you had you had it in your desktop? You're gonna go back to your name, which uses your name. Desktop and your logo. And then there you have it. There's the logo right there. So double click on it and there you have it. It's right up there. See, that's how you do it. Alright guys, um I'm gonna pretty much end up my tutorial here uh, if you like this video well give it a like uh, you already know what to do subscribe for more football manager content this is my first video i'm going to have much more coming but other than that uh have a good day